Hi there everyone, this is Mailman Zero playing Earthbound. In the last episode we went and destroyed a really old sprout, which doesn't seem very green or friendly to me. Today we're going to go back to Threed and see what happens from then on. So on our way, we get to have a number of relatively insignificant and simple battles. But that one insignificant battle allowed Ness to gain a level and Paula to gain a level. And in each case, we learned a new psychic ability. And got a butterfly that we don't need. I'm still scared of some of these guys. Those big dinosaur guys scare me. Um, trees scare me. Oh, I was really hoping I could get some kind of awesome attack, but I guess we'll just, uh, I don't know, do what we always do. These guys are still pretty strong, even though we've leveled up quite a bit. It's also interesting to note that Paula has some pretty good defense now. She's been hit a couple of times and only one hit point gets taken off. A lone frog. I can't remember if the armored frog is one of those guys that can call for help. But I can, I can tell you right now, I mean, he's... If I keep attacking him like this, it's going to take forever for him to die, I think. Oh, well, that helps. If it hadn't been for that smash attack, I don't think I would have been able to get him in just two rounds. I think it would have taken a lot longer. Zombie caves. Haven't seen this place in a long time. I guess, uh, I don't know, there are no enemies here now. Now this is a very different place. Well, you're welcome. Peace and love. I would have never imagined it if I weren't one of those kids. Yeah, I guess I could. There's not much to do in 3, but I could come back. Buses through the tunnel, eh? Alrighty, indeed. You want to walk on the sidewalk, you know, as much as possible. I want to go through the desert and onto the big city. Um, I guess so. These guys sure are happy that we've done stuff. Yeah, that does rock, doesn't it? Hmm. Still says don't enter, but when you read the sign, it says do not enter. Hello, Mr. Bus and Circus Tent. Oh, 
What? You can't take my picture through those bars? Um, fuzzy bars in the camera. So what's going on inside the circus tent? Give that a shot. Well, it's basically the same. Um, no problem there indeed. Peace paper. <laughs> oh, that's a good pun. It's not really even a pun. It doesn't make any sense at all. Um... Yes? I guess we could fix it. Well now... Pedestrian crossing signs... Kids talking... Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> he used to be in a band, but with those white sunglasses, he probably was. What's in here? Yay! I got a sandwich. A skip sandwich. Not to be confused with a skippy peanut butter sandwich. Why is he blocking the door, though? Yeah... Now would not be a good time to watch zombie movies. Okay, so I see the bus. Where's the bus stop? I would like to know where the bus stop is. Wait, can I look on my map? No information on the map. Following the road, trying, wait, is this a stop sign or a bus stop sign? Just a stop sign. There's a pizza thing, I've been there already, a road down to nowhere. This is the wrong way, I think. I wish there was a run button. That arms dealer's still up there. Well, maybe if I just keep going this way, eventually I'll find a bus stop. Oh, I don't want to just walk. Oh, I went inside a house. Hello, empty house. Well, I don't think there's going to be a bus stop out here. No problem here, but where's the bus stop? Well now, that was hard to find. Irby Hand. This bus goes to Foresight. I can't let you on if you don't pay six dollars. You bet I want to go. Riding a bus to Foresight. I'm so glad I didn't try to walk this. Can't wait to get to Foresight! Drugs? What is this advocating? What? Oh, 
Oh no, and I'm sweating. I heard a buffalo. What do you gotta say, flat top man? Um, okay. Well, there's like rocks and stuff in the way, so I can't get there. Well, I guess it's time to go in the drugs store. We'll just save for fun, you know. Oh, man. What's this guy got to say? Ooh, I can get a new baseball bat. I think that's a good idea. And a new fry pan. And another coin of slumber. Wow, those are expensive. Oh, I better get some money. Alright. Baseball bat for Ness. I want Ness to carry it, but he doesn't have any space. So I guess we'll have Paula carry it. Um, no, oh, okay. We'll just move some stuff around. Whoops. Oh wait, why don't I just sell... Yeah, I'll sell stuff first. We will sell... our baseball bat. Now I can buy a new one. Of course Ness will carry it because he can equip it. Uh, yes. Let's sell. Well, no, let's just let's just buy and then it'll do it automatically. So we'll buy a deluxe fry pan. And we'll give it to Paula. What's Ness got right now? He's wearing a hard hat. Let's just, um, let's just sell it. Coin of Slumber should be good, right? That'll do it. Well, now that we've done all that, I'll save again. And someone's playing the piano in the other room. Talk to the old people here. Whoa, what is this? There's more stuff here. Wet towel. What? Oh, I, I hit the buttons and I'll buy anything. What's this guy? An inn? No. Yeah, your beds are non-existent is what they are. So we got a bunch of extra money that we don't need. Uh, let's put most of it back in. Um, I guess... Like... 700? And, um... I don't know if I should get wet towels or not, I mean, they're not that expensive, I guess I should, just in case. And we'll, we'll, give a, we'll buy another one and give it to Jeff. So, uh, yeah, this is the desert with uh, moles running away from us. Those are some difficult enemies right now. So, uh, yeah, I, I, um, I guess we didn't really accomplish much except getting stuck in a traffic jam. But join me next time, and we'll do more than getting stuck in a traffic jam. Bye.